All right, this is basically how you set up a G13 um, with any game. First is uh, once you load the software, there's an icon down here. Double click that. Um, it'll come up to your main screen here. Uh, what you'll do is basically hit profile and then click new. Um, basically name the game. We'll say my game uh, description. You don't really need that. Um, browse. Now this, when you hit browse, that's whatever you're doing it like whatever uh, icon you want or game you want to watch. You just basically find it. So we'll say here Aeon. We'll click that and basically it'll put the path for that. And then I always do, I don't really know what this does exactly, but I say lock profile during game running. Um, I just always do that. You hit OK. Basically you'll have every single button will be unassigned. So what you do is say you want these keys, 1, 2, 3, or 3, 4, 5, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17, and 18 to be basically 1 through uh, 9. You just right click or left click, assign keynote, and then you type 1 on the keyboard. Hit OK. Assign key 2. You know, assign key 3. Um, and basically you do that for the for whatever you want. Um, down here you can assign, you know, like W, um, you know, for this the left, right, A, and then S, and then uh, right here, assign that D, and that's basically um, it there. You can also do two button, like assign macro, create new macro, and you can say, you know, type in whatever you want there. And then you go over here and it says start recording, and I can go like, like, control shift, and stuff like that, and it'll just basically record whatever you type. And you basically hit stop recording, and it'll save that to wherever you want. Now say you want to assign two buttons to one button, so we can take G21 down here. You basically left click, hit assign keystroke, and you can basically hit, you know, just go like control shift. And so that'll pop up in here, control shift, and you let those go, and you basically hit OK. And so anytime you hit that button, it'll be like hitting control plus shift. So you could add, say in an MMO, you could add like, if you run out of shift, alt, and control um, hot bar swaps, you can hit like a fourth one as control shift and have a whole other bar to, to go with on there. Uh, once all that's saved, um, you basically just come down here and click save profile. And basically it'll save it. And then the next time like you launch said, like, you know, like the icon we use was for Aeon, um, next time you click on that and launch it, it'll activate the profile and load it up with the game um, every single time flawlessly. Uh, I've never had a problem with it. Um, you can also adjust the colors, you know, if you want it to look pink, um, you can want it to look green. Pretty much any color uh, you want, um, it'll, it'll do. Um, also, these buttons on the top here, I don't know if you can see them too good, but there's one, two, three, four. Um, these buttons basically can pull up a second um, a second whole macro thing. So basically, if you said you're playing Aeon, and you click um, this button here, it'll switch between, as you can see, well, let's actually switch it to a different color. So you do that baby blue. Yeah, that works. So basically, you hit this uh, button here, it's the green. You hit that, it's blue. So it just swaps back and forth. And basically, when you do that, you can see it switching M1, M2. Um, you get a whole nother blank thing. So basically, if you're playing there and you want to have a whole nother key layout, you just basically hit the other button, and it'll pull up whatever you've put into here um, for keystrokes assignments. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, every single button there is configurable, and it's not really that hard to figure out. And just always when you change stuff, just click here and click save.